I wanted to talk about this palette today. This palette is by The Balm and it's been out I think for a few months. I'm not sure how long but this is how it looks like. It's called The Balm Appetite Eyeshadow Palette. I just love their packaging. It is super cute. Balm has always been, been really nice with their packaging. That's one of the things that really attracted me to this brand in the beginning. Uh, and I've known this brand for years. Before I even had my channel, I love their eyeshadows. I bought a few of their products. I bought this one, the Nude and this is gorgeous. Um, it's like all these beautiful shades and the packaging again is beautiful. And then I bought this, the Meat Matte Nude, which I have used in my um, old tutorials before in the past. I've had this for a couple of years now and I really enjoy using it. I like the, the gray shades. And um, so now this one came out recently and of course because I love their eyeshadows so much, they're really buttery, they're really pigmented, they are really nice. So I wanted to try this. I just love the packaging on this. Look at that. Ugh. Okay, at first when I opened it, I thought that in the pictures, I, I saw a couple of pictures with like this and I thought, oh wow, these are pretty small. <laughs> the eyeshadow is really small, but guess what? There's another layer to this. <gasps> it's a die cut and look how much eyeshadow they give you. It is so pretty. These look like they're shimmer shades. These are satin finish. This looks like it has a little, the tiniest bit of glitters in there, but it's not, they're not chunky or big. You can't even, you can hardly even see it when you swatch it, but it's there. Um, and then these are the mattes. So um, I like this color from my skin tone. I feel like this color works really well. This is a nice color for transition shade if, um, or actually all over the lid shade. And I'm gonna give you better swatches up front. This is a nice kind of uh, silvery tone. It's really pretty. This is a really pretty palette. Um, it's not the kind of palette that you want to, you can't just, if you like to deepen the crease or you like uh, your blacks, you need to have a black to go along with this if you're traveling. Um, that was the only thing I was um, kind of disappointed that there was not a deeper color because I was hoping that I could do my whole eye look with this. I wanted something more black or actually a darker brown. So what I did was go into this meat matrimony and this one is gorgeous. I used this color and this plum shade to deepen the crease. Yeah, so I had to use this one to finish off my eye look. Um, you kind of need another color if you're going for a more smoky eye. If you're doing like a light, light smoky eye, this would be sufficient. I think this one is around $39. Uh, they're suggesting that there's foiled eyeshadow in this palette, I should say, but um, it doesn't really say, give you information on which one is actually the foiled shadow, which one is the shimmer shadow. So I'm, I'm a little bit confused uh, on which one is which. I thought that this was shimmer, but it could be the one they're referring to as a foiled shadow. I'm gonna give you a closer swatch of these and then you can tell me maybe in the comments which one you think is the foiled shadows and which one is shimmer. Uh, because I couldn't really find that information. Okay, let's get on with the swatches. <laughs> okay, for the first row, we have the matte shades. The first one I'm swatching is called Bruce Shetta. It's a nice bone, um, bone color shade. It's great for brow bone and just overall lid. This one is called Mac and Cheese. I love the names that they pick for these, so cute. Mac and Cheese is a nice uh, transition color. It's a mauve shade. This one is called Ray Sinbread. <laughs> Ray Sinbread. It's a light brown color and it's a nice transition shade. This color is called Tater Tots. Um, I believe this might be one of the foil shadows they're talking about on their website. It looks like a very light shimmery shade. It's perfect for the lid for everyday use if you wanted to use a little bit of shimmer on your eyes. This one is called Rocky Road 
ice cream, my favorite flavor. <laughs> and this is also looks like it's a, it may be, a, this one looks like it might be a, either shimmery shade or it could be a foil shadow. It looks like it could be a foil shadow actually. This one is called Crispy Bacon. And it's just gorgeous on the lid. This one is super pigmented. These two are the most pigmented of the foils. For the last row, we have Jalapeno Popers. This one is a nice khaki shade. This could be all over the lid kind of shade. It feels a little bit drier, this one. This one feels like it's a satin shade. This one is called Arti Choke Dip. It's a beautiful silver shade. And I believe this one is a satin. And this last shade is called Alfredo Pasta. I'm gonna swatch it one more time because it looks so dark in the pan. I feel like I didn't get a good swatch. So that was with two swatches. Um, this is a beautiful charcoal gray. It has very fine shimmers in it. I mean, it is so fine that you can't hardly see it, but it's there. And it has a little bit of green undertone. So that was my swatches and my little mini review of the Balm Appetit palette, eyeshadow palette. I hope that you're having a beautiful Thanksgiving weekend. I hope that you're enjoying it with your family, friends, whoever you are spending it with. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you found this swatches and this mini review helpful. If you get this palette, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of it. Um, you know, if you buy it for someone, what they think of it, if they liked it or not. Um, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I upload regularly, and I'm going to be doing a lot of reviews like this for at least the next couple of months, and on and on and on. And if you have any ideas for what kind of um, reviews you'd like to watch, leave it in the comments below too, and let me know what you'd like to see. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.